Hey there, today what I'm going to do is quickly show you how to extract a still image from video in Photoshop. There are two methods that I'm going to show you in regards to how to do this. Uh, neither one is necessarily better or worse than the other. So the first method is when you've launched Photoshop, go to File, Import, Video Frames to Layers, then grab the video that you want. In this case, I want this one. Hit open. It's going to bring this little box here. And what you're going to want to do, you don't want to necessarily grab the full video because you just want the still image. So if you know where specifically in the video is that you want, or roughly, you can try to kind of get around that area. So I kind of want... So notice what I'm doing here. I moved the playhead to roughly where I want, and now these two little end beginning and end points, I'm moving around that as well. So what's going to happen is, is it's going to import these frames. Notice what it also did is it selected the range only. So in there somewhere, hopefully there's at least one picture of me that is in focus. So with that, you hit OK. And now what it's going to do is it's going to import each of those individual frames as layers. So notice we have now all of the layers, that, but it doesn't have the whole video. And from there, I can kind of scroll through. Okay, I'm not going to keep looking here because this is a demo. So let's say number 99 is the one that I found that's in focus and that I want to keep. You can basically delete all the other layers if you want. Or what I'm simply going to do is I'm going to edit this particular layer. So I'll do my edits and anything else that I want to do to it. So let's say I'm just adjusting the... And this looks terrible. This is a terrible picture here. And let's try to sharpen the eyes a little bit. And that's pretty much it. I'm not obviously not going to use this picture, but it shows you how that's done. Is you grab it, the one that you want, and then from there, you can simply save as either a Photoshop file... PNG, JPEG, whatever you want. That's the first method. That's kind of if you already have an idea where in the video that you want to grab your still image from. Okay, for the second method is if you've already got the video open in Photoshop. So I'm going to open it, the full video, and it's going to do the same thing. It's going to create a timeline down at the bottom. But notice it's not individual frames. So from here, I'm going to need to kind of scroll to hopefully find the spot that I want. So the problem here is I don't think there actually is a picture of me that's in focus with this video. Okay, let's jump to the end. Okay, so now I've picked the particular image that I want to use. I'm going to also grab Beginning and ends here, and narrow that down so that way it's really just kind of got that little section that I want. In the lower left now, I'm going to go render video. I'm going to switch from Adobe Media Encoder to Photoshop Image Sequence. You can select your format, so if you want to do it as a PSD file, you can. In my case, I'm just going to stick with a JPEG. And notice what it did there is it selected work area 5449 or 5549, 5945. So it knows just to grab those, that frame area. Hit render. And now what it did, if we go to my desktop. we now see that one specific image. And that's pretty much it. So now I've got that particular image that I can work with and make my edits to. Those are the two methods that you can use. Uh, like I said, I don't think uh, one is necessarily better than the other. It just kind of depends on how you want to do it. Hope you found that useful. As always, be sure to share, thumbs up, uh, comment, you know, all the usual. Oh, of course, and subscribe.